Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite shows of all time. Yes, I'm talking about MASH. You've probably have seen many videos on this channel about the TV show MASH. Today I thought I'd talk about continuity errors. Even back then though, it was the 60s, 70s, 80s. Most episodes were week to week. You know, what happened last week didn't matter what happened the next week. But since MASH has been on since day one, it's never gone off the air. We notice mistakes from like, especially from season one on down the road. Now, we lost characters like Spear Chucker, just disappeared. There was no explanation what happened. He just disappeared. Now, obviously, that name could not be used today. But again, his character just disappeared. Now, I think Ugly John, if I remember correctly, he took Spear Chucker's spot. But then he just disappeared. But I want to talk about some certain things like Hawkeye. Hawkeye in the beginning, season one, had a mom, had a dad, and had a sister. We learned this from Dear Dad again. He ends the letter by saying, give mom and sis a kiss for me. In season two, in mail call, Hawkeye's sister sends him a sweater. So as of season two, he still has a sister. I don't know about a mom, but he still has a sister. Later on, it's just him and his dad. Uh, you can go to Henry Blake. In the final episode of season one, Showtime, his wife is giving labor. He can't be there. He, so he had three kids. After the, Andrew was born, he had three kids. Now, later on in the final episode, Andrew's like five. The Korean conflict or police action, whatever you want to call it, didn't last five years. So the kid either aged really quick or they just kind of changed it around. Also, there were three kids named Jane, Molly, and Andrew. Well, at a certain point, there's only Molly and Andrew. And if, in fact, in the episode Kim in season two, Henry says, I have two kids myself. So Jane just disappeared. She's probably with Chuck Cunningham somewhere. Her, Jane and Chuck are just hanging out together. But that's just the way TV was back then. Then you have one that it, it always bugged me. I don't know why. It's with Klinger. Now, Klinger's first episode was in Chief Surgeon Who, where he stops uh, General Barker. And General Barker's still trying to get on a Section 8, huh, Klinger? Okay, so Kling and Klinger's in a dress. Now, later on in Dear Dad Again, we see Klinger in a bandana, but he's wearing army fatigues. And of course, Frank wants him to take off the bandana. So they start fighting. Klinger punches. Frank knocks him out. Now here's where I have an issue of all the things. I can deal with all the other stuff. There is no way that Frank would not have court-martialed Klinger for knocking him out. There's just no way. They, and they never explain it. Now I get it. It's the 70s. It's MASH. I'm not going to stop re-watching MASH because of it. But that one, of all the continuity errors, that one drives me crazy because every time, I, I, in fact, I just watched it. I go, there's no way Frank would allow that. There's no way Frank would go, and even Margaret, Margaret would have said something. But Klinger became an important character later on, so it worked. But other than that, let me know what you think in the comment section. Is there anything that bothers you about MASH that they never explained? Or do you just enjoy the show for the hilarity and the drama that comes with such a great, fantastic show. Now, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, tell a friend, share the video. I'm out. Bye, everybody.